Hey guys, this is Attorney Walter, if not the third with Disability Resolution PA. And what I want to talk about real quick is how we can write essentially a bigger, better version of the SSI Restoration Act. Now, take for a moment and imagine that you had the capacity to go ahead and write a bill and then present it before Congress or at least the committees to get it rolling. That's kind of the ultimate goal here is to give you the capacity to write a bill so that you can get it to those individuals who can get it to the committees that can then put it on the floor to get a vote. When I read through the SSI Restoration Act bill, there were a lot of things that I saw that could definitely be improved. Um, somebody who's practicing directly with Social Security disability applicants. And as you know, SSI is Supplemental Security Income. It's the you know disabled poverty-based program. Another way to think of it is it's like a UBI for disabled people who haven't worked much or worked at all or individuals that are older. And so I wanted to go through basically uh, my suggestions to you with this video. This is going to be a short video, but this is an opportunity to send your thoughts to me so that I can integrate those into a bigger, better version of the Supplemental Security Income Restoration Act. Number one, I need examples of how SSI could be better that are just on the top of your head. Right, just what comes to mind, what you want, etc. And it's not just the classic, you know, the 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 thing about like how much you're potentially going to get, yada yada. I mean, like across the board, what's holding you back? What would be better? Number two, going through each limitation or restriction and making them make sense for 2022. So I'll make future videos that go through each limitation, like the $1,500 uh, life insurance restriction, the $2,000 restriction, etc. There's all these little poverty-based restrictions that occur with SSI, and as a result of that, people just live in this poverty-stricken, you know, can't really do anything with their life. They can't, if they wanted to do better, it would be extremely difficult for them to do better. Um, you know, pretty much you've got the nine-month and the ticket to work program, but that's, it, it, they're still, you know, stuck to having to go that route or there's no route at all. I, I think there are more routes that we could potentially offer to people, more hybrid options within that. Number three, telling me the result of these restrictions on your daily lives. So one thing that I'm never going to know unless you tell me are all the unique little ways that these restrictions seem to limit your ability to do stuff. And what do I mean by that? I mean that essentially, you know, you have a restriction and the restriction was intended by statute to do this. But in your instance, which nobody foresaw, it did this. And so what I want you guys to do is be uh, a little bit more vocal about essentially those unique situations that you're undergoing so that we could potentially change the statute to, you know, not allow that to happen to other people. Number four, um, tell me what you think in general could be better. And when you do that, what I'm looking for is just some general guidance. You know, I've, I've had... Uh, claimants before where I was like, okay, well, what would you like to do uh, better with this? Or how would you like to make this better? Or how would you add it out of? And it's always like a, it's a generalized, you know, uh, we want more money from SSI. Go into detail specifically about the future of things. Sit there and think 10 years from now, what am I going to need? 15 years from now, is this program going to be able to modify itself to what I'm going to need? Think into the future. Be you know progressive in the ideology that you have the capacity to figure out a future where you are, you know, maybe with SSI, remember, it's, it's a welfare disability program, but maybe there is some world where you are satisfied with what you have from that program. I'm going to be doing a video similar to this for SSDI, but uh, the point is uh, I want you to just take these thoughts and think about it and then write into the comments specifically what you would like that you know because remember SSI the big act for that is social or Su supplemental security income restoration act that's like the big act we need to take that and write a better one and then we write a better one and then we figure out how to fund it and basically you know that's the whole game here is how do we make it better how do we fund it get it to those people on the committees that can go ahead and say yay or nay we like we don't like then we get in front of those individuals that are on the floor get it through them, get it to the White House, you get a law, okay? Attorney Walter Rudolph, not the third with Disability Resolution PA. I will catch you a little bit later. Remember, um, I'm going to put a lot of this information that you send to me onto spaceconstitution.com because that's going to be the platform that I use uh, for receiving ideas and then integrating them into a system like a blog platform where I can go ahead and figure out, okay, this is a good idea, this is a bad idea, how do we, how do we make this bad idea into a good idea? I'm going to be using them through that infrastructure. So either way, guys, I'll catch you a little bit later. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Attorney Walter Not. Remember, I go live 8 to 10 every Thursday, Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. I donate two hours then. You can catch up with me there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.